was a mess with your head No, but you don't answer to, answer to no one yeah. Cause you got way too many scars From people tearing you apart no. You think I let you down Break your heart and play around But that's not me, no I will love you, love you right back And come and hold you whenever you're sad I know you don't wanna get hurt But you love to take my word That I will love you Love you right back Love you right back You don't wanna be, wanna be left out Hello, so I was just, ooh, whoops I was just sitting down thinking like What am I gonna do today? And I randomly, sporadically decided let's vlog it so right now clearly just got ready i already had breakfast i am seriously dreaming i can't stop thinking about it something about the iced coffee that i had yesterday it was califia farms cold brew and their oat milk something about it oh my god i had it yesterday and i think i just like used a lot of milk or something but it was so good can't stop thinking about it um i cannot wait till this afternoon like early afternoon where i have one because i just had a cup of coffee i'm like lily we don't need it yet something to look forward to so excited about that that was my free gift that came with my thrive market order most recently you guys can get that as well and you save 25 percent on your first order if you are interested i will put my link in the description it's just thrivemarket.com slash nicole get yourself a free gift they are not chintzy on the gifts it's like full-sized shit which I appreciate it very much. Anyway, I want to go to like Target or I'm kind of thinking Ross. I don't know if Ross has like, I need planners and Ross is a little closer than Target. Plus they have fun things. I don't know. We'll see where I decide to go, but I need to get some planners. So here's my thing. I don't use planners <laughs> as they are intended to be used. Something about it, like I can't get myself into the habit of using it every day, it becomes a waste of money. I've spent like lots of money on really nice ass fancy planners thinking that I would use them and I just simply do not. But something that I did start using my planner for was money manifestation. So this is kind of an interesting, fun little thing that I like to do. So I realized like, okay, I have this planner. I'm not doing anything with it. This was last year, right? Oh no, two years ago, I started doing this. Every single day of the planner, I would write down how each individual amount of money that came in. So whether it was money for my business, whether maybe like my mom sent me $50 in the mail for a birthday gift, like I found a $20 bill on the ground, anything, money from anywhere. Like my accountant, my bookkeeper, he takes care of my business money and like he knows that income right and so for me i just like to count money manifested and watch that grow. So i will add up the total and i will write it on a whiteboard that is hanging above my desk and the whiteboard has all of the months of the year i just track how much money has come in what you don't track cannot grow so that is why i started tracking in 2019 and i had you know two six figure years after that so i think that there's something to say for it so i want to get a planner for that i also think I want to get like a second planner and I'm just getting like cheap ones you guys I want to see if I can find like under ten dollars because I really just need like the organization of like the calendar and the days I also want to get one so that I can start like mapping out content for my social media platforms which is something that I've never done before I've been always more of like on the fly kind of girl but now that I'm stepping more into like that influencer role and I really want to start working with brands and have this be my main source of income versus having my coaching programs be my main source of income it's not just me that has to know like what my content is going to be like in order to pitch myself to brands and to get sponsorships they need to know like what types of videos um, I have coming up on YouTube and TikTok what types of podcast episodes so they can see where their you know product and brand fits into the mix there I want to buy a planner so that I can start to like map that out. Anyway, we're gonna go to the store, get some of that, come home, make the iced coffee, and then start doing some planning. I also, hopefully, within this vlog, will be getting my claws back on because I believe that the salons have reopened. I just have to call mine, the one that I like to go to, and see if they are open. But I miss my fingernails. I really, really do. I just remembered something else that I want to get at the store. I bought these a while ago and I have not gotten the prints yet, but you guys, how freaking cute are these? Oh my God. I got them from Etsy. It's also where I got, this is like one of my favorite prints that I get asked about when it's like in my Instagram story and stuff. This one right here. 
See, she's so pretty, love her. You can go on Etsy and you can get prints, like both of those, like the boobs and the butts, I'm gonna put them in my bathroom, by the way, in frames. It was like $8.40, I believe, to get, download the digital files for them. And then you just send it through to like Staples or wherever you can get things printed and buy a frame. And it's like artwork for your home and you're supporting like mostly small artists and stuff like that. So I really like to buy lots of prints from there. And I'm excited about this one and to buy some frames today and hopefully, fingers crossed, can pick up the prints from Staples as well. I totally promise we're gonna go to the store, but it's like lunchtime-ish and I feel like I'm gonna be out for a while. So I'm gonna make a quick shake. We will time-lapse this. Um, oh, I'm like, what is that? That's <laughs> what I've been using to film my cooking TikToks lately. Go watch if you have not yet. If you're not following me on TikTok, like, I don't really know how you got here. If you're not following me on TikTok, so you probably are, but anyway. Okay, let's make a shake. I'm realizing now you guys like can't see what's happening. Let's rearrange this. Did you know, by the way, fun fact, that monkeys open their bananas from the bottom because that's where it's easiest to open them? I know this because as a kindergarten teacher, kids don't know how to open their bananas, so that's how we would teach them so we wouldn't have to do it for them. So, fun fact for you. Okay, I think this is perfect for the bathroom prints. It's like gold, there's a set of two. It's only $15. Yes, candles and this cute mug, couldn't resist. So I am going to go to Target because they didn't have like stationary stuff here. So I'm gonna go find um, the planners that I needed. I still need to get a few more frames. I love that option for the bathroom one. So I'm really glad that I found that because staples, I could only print them in eight by 10. And I felt like it wasn't big enough, but this will make it take up more space in the wall because it will just have like the larger like frame effect. When I go to staples, there is another Ross right by the staples. So I might run in there too, we will see. So distracted in Target that I forgot to get the planners, which is the whole reason for this excursion in the first place. <laughs> Yay, how freaking cute does this look? This is the print that my cousin Danielle made and I bought it from her. It's been unframed ever since I bought it before Christmas. Let me put it on the shelf and see how it looks. Yes, yes, I'm obsessed, let me show you. There it is, Ugh, not your fucking baby, I love it. I feel like I need to rearrange the shelf a little bit. I just have to put these somewhere new because they were here. Maybe that can still go there and this will go somewhere. But I'm feeling like the shelf is like coming together. I don't think you guys, I don't know if I've shown you this on YouTube, but I bought um, a new pink salt lamp. I know you guys have seen her, my thicky thick gale. I still want to get like a big plant, probably a fake one that like 
cascades over this. I feel like that would be really pretty and it would like balance some things out and then I'd probably like move that. But yes, right now I love how it looks. All right, you guys, let's do a stop, chop and drop and chug real quick with water preferably, but I mean chug whatever you've got, you know what I'm saying? I bought this at Ross because I was thirsty and when I was driving, drinking it like at a red light, like chugging this like big blue water bottle, I was like, it probably like semi looks like I'm chugging vodka in my car right now, but. I feel like it is time now, ooh, the lighting. I feel like it is time now to make my iced coffee that I've been dreaming about all day. I'm not the type of girl that's like satisfied by a shake for lunch, so I need like a little, more food and then I'm gonna go sit outside because it's a beautiful day, can you see that? I have some writing to do, some prepping for tonight's Manifest More membership call. We are talking about embracing feminine energy tonight. In this membership, Have we do like one live group Zoom call per month on the full moon and it always has like a topic, a theme, everyone gets on, we do some coaching, we usually do like a guided meditation or some sort of healing modality. It's really, really beautiful. I would love if you guys would join. I will put all the info in the description here and I'll give you like a little special discount code for coming from YouTube. So fun, I just feel like it would be so fun to have you guys like seeing me in this element, like this is me living my real life. And I would just love for you to experience my coaching and what all of that is like it, I don't know, it lights me up. I freaking love the membership. And I recently lowered the price by a lot, a lot, a lot. So would definitely love to have you in there, even if it's just for a month to come check it out. So check out the link in the description. I'm gonna make my iced coffee, my little snack, and then I'm gonna go sit on the beautiful porch and get some shit done. thing right now and my call starts in 15 minutes for the manifest more membership but i've got packages packages and make sure i don't show my address to open so i wanted to show you guys let's see what we've got like i told you guys in the last vlog definitely doing more reading this year and as my friends were sending our, like that book around, The Dilemma, I thought this is such a great idea, just like sending people books. So I put on my Instagram story, like does anyone have any novels that they would not mind not getting back and want to trade for one of mine? And so I did that with two people so far. And when I'm done reading these, I will totally be happy to do more. So if you guys want to participate, let me know. So um, I got this book, Eat, Pray, Love. I think everyone knows of this book. I've never read it. And I know it's not like technically a novel, but I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's something that I should have read by now. And then this one is A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. So I don't really know anything about this book, but I'm excited to start reading again. So yay for that. Ooh. I have vegetables in my microwave. Let me go get them and we'll eat on the box. They're so bright and pretty in this lighting. It's just like mixed veggies. I like to do like the steam in the bag in the microwave and then just put like butter, salt and pepper, some shredded cheese. So good. I have a feeling that, I don't know, I kind of want to like order food tonight. So I was like, let me get some vegetables in in case that doesn't happen in my meal. I'm gonna use these, use these, eat one of these tonight. I just bought them at the dispensary. It's pineapple habanero gummies and it's like uplifting they're like low milligrams so kind of excited to try these i love this like brand of them but i've just never tried this flavor
This is some supplements. I'm working with a new holistic doctor here in San Diego and we had our first session. She has me on starting some new supplements to try out. So this is one of them. I know I'm still waiting on another. I think this is like the omega fatty acids one. I am still, by the way, I just reordered the gym supplement that I've been taking for cystic acne. It's been two months now, you guys. Um, no new cystic pimples. It took about a month to like really kick all the way in. Totally worked for me. You can get it on Amazon. I will link below. Another box from Bumble, which I did open on Instagram stories yesterday. They already sent me one box like maybe this summer sometime. It was like me another one. And Curtis, another one. Some of it was the same as last time and they give two of everything. So now I'm like, I have four Bumble water bottles plus Curtis got two more shipped to his house. So we are like up to our ears in water bottles, but they're very cute. Bumble, and I love this. On the other side, it says never thirsty. So I think that that's so fun. We also in the last uh, box got two hats and we got two more and then he got two more. So there's six hats, but I think they're freaking cute. It says big moves, big mood and Bumble on the back. So very cute. Two sets of masks, which I actually like, but they're just like sleek and like black. There's the Bumble logo, like casual on the side. Sanitary wipes, which is so funny. It's like, these are the times we're in. Keychains, hashtag move maker, pens, and then just like some stickers. In just enough time, we have five minutes until the manifest more call. My love. I don't need to show you all of this, but I am pretty excited because one of them was free. That's how I got suckered into ordering again before I like really needed it. But I got all these fun flavors. And then I also got a descaling kit, which I've probably been needing to do for a long time. I've never done it before. And this is basically like to clean it. I am most excited to try this chocolate fudge. This is a new one to me. Anyway, gotta go. Time for the Manifest More call. Um, link in bio to sign up once again. Love you, bye. What is something that annoys the heck out of you about the other person? <laughs> the cameras. It's the way when you eat chips and salsa. Or like when you eat like a lot of things, like <laughs> when you eat chips and salsa and you just scoop and let the salsa drip on all the other chips on your way to your mouth. She probably already knows the answer to this, but uh, that ass. We met on Tinder first. We stopped talking. One of us stopped talking. <laughs> but we'd only messaged a few times. We were like texting like a little bit. Yeah, I guess some people have met more, but whatever, yeah, it's cool. Later, we swiped on Bumble. So what was your impression then? That's the girl from Tinder that ghosted me. Man, it's like now I'm wondering, is my mom gonna see this? Good.